Aloha everyone. This is Mark Tolliver and I am coming to you from my Lanai from Maui, Hawaii. And I just wanted to shout out that I finally finished my 30 day journal that I've been working on. I worked on it last year while we were in quarantine, right? And I had a lot of time on my hands. So I figured why not write a really cool journal about telling your story? And what do I mean about telling your story? Well, all of our stories changed last year. And now we're going to be telling new stories. And things have shifted. Either it progressed you to do more stuff, or it stopped you in your tracks, and you had to kind of reevaluate what to do and to go forward, which might be a little different. I always have this saying of the future isn't what it used to be, meaning that we live in the present. We can have our ideals of what that's going to be in the future and what our stories are going to be in the future, but sometimes things shift, things change. We just had a global epidemic and that changed everything. It just didn't change your life, but it changed everybody's life around the world. Everybody was affected and they all had to shift, have a little shift. I keep on hearing, you know, the world's gonna be totally different. Well, the world is different now and we're shifting with that. But the best way to shift with that is to recreate our stories. There's this thing about ego where it gets stuck in your mind of what you think it's supposed to be and where you're going. But things can take a shift, take a radical shift like last year and the beginning of this year as well, right? So we're all shifting right now. That's why I came up with this 30 day journal, becoming the real deal. <laughs> because now things got real and we are the real deal and we're all I don't want to say the word forced but to look at what our present is all about what our presence is all about how are we handling last year and this year what are we doing to move forward what's our story because I'll tell you right now my story isn't the same story it was last year I have taken a whole different look at that. And it's kind of interesting. The reason why I'm doing this on my lanai, this video, is because I was looking at the ocean this morning. The ocean's actually right above my shoulder here, but it's so bright today, I don't know if you can actually see it. Um, but I was looking at the waves, and I was looking at the ebb and flow of the water going in and going out. And I thought, wow, that's kind of like our lives, isn't it? Everything ebbs and flows. We get taken away a little bit and then we come right back in and I feel like that's what kind of happened last year we kind of gotten taken in or taken out and brought right back in again and it's consistent sometimes it can be choppy like the water and sometimes it can be as smooth as glass and everything is fine so with my journal that I just created it's on my new website I was able to create my coaching website out of last year since I had all this wonderful time to do it. And it's just on my coaching because I'm also a hairdresser and a salon owner. And then with my coaching, I'm a life coach, I'm a business coach, I'm a leadership coach, and an authentic coach. What's an authentic coach? Authenticity, being authentic. I think last year made us all realize what being authentic is all about because we got stopped in our tracks. Whatever we were doing, everybody on this planet, whatever we were doing got stopped in our tracks for a second and we had to reevaluate, reassess, and find out where our stories lie now. So where does your story lie? What is happening with your life right now? Is it going smooth? Is it a little chaotic? Is it getting better? 
Have you shifted? Are you now working at home when you used to work in a big office? Or if that doesn't relate to you, are you spending more time at home lately than you usually would? And you still are working and going out. Whatever that is, just know that we all have new stories now. I keep on hearing the world has changed well, the world has changed, but the world changes every single day, right? And we change with it. I love the phrase, the future isn't what it used to be. Because the future is the future. What holds now is the present we're in right now. So my journal is all about that. Now this is on my website. And it's my website's my name marktolliver.com which is listed right below this video and it brings you into the real and the now and they're very tough questions these are questions that a coach would ask you on a one-on-one -on -one. it talks about values and what your values are are you value is your values which you valued so dear now hold to what your values were last year or the year before? Has it changed your values? Does it set you in a new direction, on a new track? That's what I'm talking about. That's when our stories have to change a little bit. Or do they change at all? So my journal is all about that. It's all about bringing you from day to day and these are tough questions, so you may have to contemplate this. Uh, it can be from week to week. Take it one day, take it a week, take it two weeks. Don't go any further than that because it'll take you forever to get through my journal. <laughs> it's 30 days. So there's 30 questions that can be written down. And what I do is I have you look at your values as a coach. I ask you questions on how you feel and how that feels here inside. So you're gonna do some deep work. And the best part, the only person that's gonna read this is you. So you need to be truthful with you, which is actually really hard to do. <laughs> and, because trust me, I have gone through these exercises and I still go through these exercises. And that's the other thing, things can change. So the things you write down today may be different than what you write down next year, next month, tomorrow. You just have no idea. Because the world, like the ocean, the ebb and flow never stops moving. It continues, just like your life. Your life continues. It continues in work, it continues in family, and it continues in play. It continues while you're having a cup of coffee on one eye, watching the ocean. Things don't stop. They can slow down. And trust me, I have moved very fast, but I took a slowdown this year, which made me write this. Because I thought, if I'm slowing down, and I'm not a hamster on that wheel, because hamsters, trust me, love to be on those wheels. And now that I've taken and jumped off that wheel in my work, in my life, and slowed it down a little bit, not saying you have to slow down. Sometimes people have to jump on that wheel. But what is your story now after last year? What was your story then? In my 30-day journal, I have you write your story as if someone else was writing your story at first. Then I have you look at that and read that. Then I have you... Well, I ask you a few questions, and then I ask you again to write your story. Now, as you writing your own story. Then I ask you a few more questions after that. And then when you get insight from those questions, then you rewrite your story. After you've contemplated on what that story is. And then on top of that, at the very end, I have you rewrite your story again. Because what we're actually doing is going through layers. We're going through layers of your life. We're going through layers of what is good for you, what is personal for you, what is out there. 
what are your, again, the values in your life? So take this time, like I'm hanging on my lanai, and it's so bright today. And you know how people are saying there's light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like we're not so deep in that tunnel anymore. We're just right at that lip. We're not quite out of it yet, but we're at that lip. Just like me on this lanai with all this brightness behind me. I can feel the trade winds here. I can smell the ocean. I'm not so deep in my house now that I can't feel or sense anything. I'm actually out on my lanai and enjoying the day. And I'm also rewriting my story. And I do rewrite my story. And I re-go through this. And I've been through this with other coaches. So I thought compiling this together, this is how I work, this is how I teach. If you were one of my students, this is how you would do this. So this is a really great nugget. And it's a full nugget. It's not just half-half. We're gonna to have to take a class to understand all this. But during the process, you are more than welcome to DM me, to um, text me, call me, whatever you need to do to reach out. If, you're, if you hit one of these spots, because we're going deep and we're being truthful and we're being real so that you can be real. Real at your job, real with your family, real with your friends. And not let all this ego stuff kind of like cloud your mind and what it was supposed to be, but what is and what's in the present now and what your story is right now. And you're gonna see how awesome it is and how incredible life is. And also to recognize when you kind of get triggered or thing gets you, things get you off balance in your life. This is all about this to be able to walk forward, to walk out of that tunnel and be prepared, have your book with you. And you know what, when you walk out of that tunnel, it's all gonna change again. But you're walking in a good direction because you're being real with yourself and you're seeing what can be out there for you of whatever that is for you, business, family, life. So I invite you to look at my website. Right now I'm working on a new workshop which is all about public speaking and being in front of a video. So if that interests you, that's my latest workshop. And a lot of the workshop is actually in this journal. When I put workshops together, it's usually things that I'm going through as well, right? Or that I am seeing that I can help other people with because I've helped myself with, to see where to go, what's the next level, what's the next step. And since this is a whole new generation out there, and I'm just calling us all a generation. I know there's the baby boomers, there's the XY generation, there's the millennium generation, and we put them all in categories. But after this world epidemic, I call it an all generation. Because now we're all processing the same thing. We're trying to figure out what our next direction is. Which is actually kind of cool. But our next direction comes from here, not out there. It comes from being real and seeing where you want to go. If you've decided to take early retirement, like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> well, where are you going to go now? What are you going to do now? How are you going to enjoy that retirement life? If you're like, oh, no got to do another job on top of this job because I was out of work for so long. What direction do you want to go that's going to serve you and make you happy in that extra job so it doesn't drain you? And for family's sake, to be reconnected to family. I mean, now we're reconnected through social media, through Zoom, all that. And some families have even gotten closer, and now Zoom is not just a business tool or a school tool, it's actually something that we can bond with our family and actually have chats. I know I've had a lot of chats with my family, even more than I would have without the pandemic. I would have just used it for my coaching and for business. I wouldn't think about anything else, except for maybe some social media stuff. So, 
join me. Take a look at my new website and take a look at the new way that I am actually coaching because this has changed my life as well. Okay, so I'm gonna say with aloha because I'm here on Maui and with the ocean behind me, remember that ebb and flow and what that's all about. Sometimes we get taken away, but then we're brought right back. And it's consistent, just like the water. Okay, so once again, with Aloha, thanks for tuning in. And hopefully, you'll take this 30 days to be real action. And you can download it and put it in a notebook, just like I did. Okay, all right. Thank you.